So you saw in that first clip that snook yep i know where you live we're coming for you but i'm looking at that water and that water is so dirty it's really 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 stained so to get that snook we're gonna need some flash we're gonna need some sound we're gonna need a spoon or a really brightly colored lipless crankbait with rattles this is the arsenal this is what's going in the water today Okay, so in order for us to use this spoon, which is gold, and I believe gold is better for murky water, and I think silver is better for clear water. So we're going to use the gold, because that water is definitely murky. And it's got this uh, one treble hook, of course, like most spoons. But it's got this little thing, and it looks like a heart. The way it sits, though, it doesn't really look like a heart. It looks more like a pair of, you know... So, but in order to use this spoon, we're going to have to use my worst enemy. I hate these things, but they're necessary with a spoon, and that is a barrel swivel. Now, a lot of people will tie the barrel swivel right onto this uh, split ring. I don't. I tie a leader, and I leave about six inches to eight inches for the barrel swivel, and then my leader will come off and run this way. Or not my leader, but my main line. So, I'm going to tie that up, and I'm also going to throw out... And I think I'll have okay luck on this because I had okay luck on its uh, counterpart, which is red and white. It is a iridescent, and I don't know why people call this chartreuse. It's not chartreuse. This is yellow, like the mustard. It's yellow. Stop calling it chartreuse. But it's iridescent. I know the paint's going to peel off this really quickly because it's kind of a cheap bait. Two treble hooks, which I'm kind of a little bit worried about throwing around some structure because they're going to get snagged up on everything. So this may not last for very long. But it's got rattles. Hooks rattle too. I don't know, you know, a lot of people overlook that, but hooks make noise as well. But it's got rattles. It's going to make noise. It's flashy. It's brightly colored. It sticks to everything like it's stuck to my hand right now. So, I'm going to throw out the lipless, or yeah, the lipless crank and a gold spoon. And we got some other stuff we're going to throw out too, but you know. I don't know if it's gonna work or not, but we're gonna throw it out there anyway. I think I'm even gonna take some bread. So this is the setup for today. Four rods, got a spoon, a lipless crank, creature bait, and a popping cork. We're just gonna throw some bread on there. Get it in the car, get going. Quick get him on dad tip. If you're picking your son up to go fishing from school or you just take him fishing a lot in general, always have a pair of play shoes. Play shoes. Hey, a bucktail jig. I found a bucktail. Okay, so we're gonna take those four lures we just tied on and try to tie and try to catch a big snook. And he hates guys. I don't know if you can see, but there's this fallen tree, and he hangs around that tree. Yep, he does. Spoon. immediately took it on fall hell oh, he's got me wrapped up in the trees jameson i'm on i'm stuck in the trees I'm... well the spoon got halfway decent large mouth bass but right in the top of the lip too I can't release them with this hand. I can't release fish with this hand. With a lip. Tight. Got it? Got it tight? Yeah. Okay. So Jameson wants to release the bass. So 
So we're gonna let them release how do them. I, how do I release this? Just walk down to the water and place them in the water. There he goes. Good job. All right, so largemouth bass. Oh, good. Don't fall in the water. Nope, that would be very bad. All right, so. That means I would be eaten, get eaten alive. But so that tactic will work. I just got to keep throwing by that log. Oh, I had a fish in the water. Yeah. Yeah, I saw. I'm glad I didn't catch Alex. I'm glad I didn't, you didn't catch Alex either. Ugh. So, looks like the snook is safe for another day. Man, I almost caught Alex. Yeah, you almost caught Alex. I threw my bait. I threw my bait. And as soon as it hit the water, he went, Danny, 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 Danny. Yeah, he started swimming towards his lure. Remember, guys, to like, comment, subscribe, turn on the post notifications, and have fun fishing. Oh.